Obvious, Corky. What's next, Pete? That's the last one, boss. Well, at yeah. least we got one good act out of the bunch. Tell him to come over at the office. Right. Well, with this act, it ought to just about fill us up, huh, Tim? We can still use one or two more. Oh, he made me laugh so much, my stomach hurts. It does, huh? Well, I got just a cure for that. Come on. Come on. How you feel now? Hey, you better look out. You're liable to find that the cure is worse than the ache. <laughs> hey, what do we got here? Come on, Cork, let's go see. Yeah, that is mine, Mitty. Yeah. Does she buy? Nein, nein. Mitty is gentle like a puppy dog. Here, you give a stick of the broth, and you see she likes it. This is gross. Yeah, yeah. Piece of bread. Oh! Here, Mitty. Mitty. Now, now. Now, you thank the little gentleman. That's a Mitty. Yeah. Hey, that Mitty is quite a bear. Yeah, yeah. She knows more tricks than any bear in the whole wide world. That's why we are here. We hear that Birkin Walsh is looking for new acts. I'm afraid you might be a little late for that. Oh, I'm sure Mr. Bossman would like to see Mitzi, though. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, now, where do I burn? Oh, uh, how about that arena over there? Yeah, take the things down there, huh? Huh? Come on, Fraulein. Come on, Fraulein. <laughs> Come, Fraulein. We get ready. What does Fraulein mean? Well, in German, Fraulein means miss. Frau means missus. <laughs> That means he and the bear aren't married. He couldn't have a bear for a wife. Some men think they have. <laughs> oh, Carl. Yeah? You about set? Yeah, yeah, be ready. Well, fine. Mr. Champion will be right here. Mr. Champion? Yeah, Tim Champion. He's our boss. But, yeah. but I thought this show was owned by Burke and Vaughn. Oh, well, it used to be, but Tim took it over a couple years ago. Well, maybe, maybe it is too much trouble today. We come back tomorrow. Oh, no, no. Now's fine. He'll be right here. Hey, here he comes now. Come on over. I'll introduce you. Uh, later, later. Uh, we do the act first. Huh? All right. I think you're going to like this act, Tim. Come, Miss we go. <laughs> Turn it on. Make it good, Mitty. <laughs> That's a good girl. Keep going. Oh, you are doing fine, Mitty. Boy, that bear sure is smart. <laughs> Come on, Missy. All right, now we do a good one. Oh, you are doing fine, Missy. Keep going, Missy. Oh, you are doing fine. Turn around, Missy. Nice girl. Say, hey, this is a good act, Joy, and just what I've been looking for. 
That's the first time I ever saw a bear work without a muzzle. Oh, Miss is very tame. She ate right out of my hand. Which hand? Oh, well, this one. What are you looking at? Just counting your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we do a good one tonight. Keep going. <laughs> Turn around, Betsy. Turn around. Keep going. <laughs> nice girl. Come. That's a good Betsy. <laughs> nice girl. I think he's going to be all right, Joey. Well, I guess you know how much we liked your act. Now, if we can just get together on South. King Carl. Not King Carl, Mr. Champion, just plain Carl Hoffer. It's been a long time. But I still remember. You wasted your time coming here. Yeah, it was a mistake. I didn't know it was your show until too late. Then I thought, maybe if you see Well, me... you thought wrong. Sorry, we can't use your rank. Come on, Pete, we got work to do. You knew Tim Champion? Yeah, 15, 16 years ago. Maybe longer. Well, why doesn't Mr. Champion like you? Corky, no, no. It's, I'm sorry, Carla. It's none of our business, unless you feel like telling us. Well, it's it's something I, I much rather not talk about. Sure. Well, how about having a cup of coffee with us? Well, I... Uh... And I'll feed Mitzi some more stick stick <laughs> oh, All right, thank you. That's nice. Yeah. Well, I'll be with you as soon as I pack up my things again. All right, then you come over to the cook shack, huh? Fine, thank you, sir. Uncle Joey, don't you think Mr. Hoffer is a nice fellow? No, I really haven't formed any opinion of him yet. Well, then why'd you invite him over for coffee if you didn't like him? I didn't say I didn't like him. Well, if you didn't say you didn't like him, then you must like him. I invited him over for coffee because I, I feel that, well... You felt the same way I do. How's that? Well, I felt kind of sorry for him after the way Mr. Champion talked to him. Yeah, that's the way I felt, too. I guess the boss had his reasons. You always said that there were no reason for someone to be mean to someone else. I said that. So why don't you talk Mr. Champion into using his act? Now, wait a minute. Big Tim runs this circus. I don't. I know. You can talk anybody into anything. <laughs> A man's entitled to one mistake. I agree, Joey. Mine was when I got mixed up with him, and I don't intend to make another one. He's got an awful good act, though. And he won't have any trouble finding a job, will he, Joey? Uh, I'm not worrying about him, though, Tim. It's you. Me? Yeah, you're supposed to be a showman. Now, here's a man with a great act that you could use, yet you turn him down for personal reasons. Now, is that showmanship? You're a great talker, Joey, but it's just like I said before. You're wasting your time. I, uh... Keep thinking of what a certain little fella's gonna say when he finds out his hero don't practice what he preaches. Now what's the pitch? Well, uh, do you remember a couple seasons ago when we had a, a very obnoxious character with a show named Ben Alley? Do you remember what you told Corky about putting up with him? You mean the time I told him that there were some things you'd have to put up with for the good of the show. That's right. For the good of the show. Okay, Joy, you win. Tell him to come over to the office. <laughs> Corky told me I could do it. Mitzi sure likes bread and jelly. Yeah, yeah. Bears like everything sweet. <laughs> How's coffee? Oh, sure, it's good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Corky told me where you've been. I'm sorry you take so much trouble just for me. Well, you do want to join up with our show. Yeah, sure. Well, then it's all set. The boss wants you over in his office to make a deal. You mean he said that? I'm not lying. Oh, boy, I knew you could do it, Uncle Joey. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> Hey, where are you going with the bear, Corky? She's taking it for a walk. Well, you better not take it for a walk in town. You're liable to cause a riot. Hey, so do. <laughs> Hi, Pete. 
What are you doing monkeying around with that bear, Corky? What's the matter, Pete? Don't you like bears? I don't trust them. I like most animals, but bears, uh, well, they're, uh, uh... Unbearable? Yeah, well, unbearable. <clears throat> hey, this ain't no joke. Bears might look clumsy and cute, but they can tear your arm off with one swipe of their big paw. Well, Mrs. is as tame as a puppy dog. Uh, don't you believe it. A bear is just as dangerous as a lion or a tiger. And stronger, too. Why, one time up in Montana, I seen a grizzly packing off a thousand pound elk. No kid. Yeah. I think Pete's right. That bear shouldn't be running around loose. Uh, Carl! Is something wrong? Not yet. But from now on, I don't want Mitzi loose. Pete'll get a cage for her. But, but she has never been in a cage before. Either caged or under leash at all times. That's an order. Come, Mitzi. We do what Mr. Champion says. Come. Oh, Mitzi, you're all tangled up again. You're having an awful time getting used to this chain. Hey, I thought you were going swimming. I am. So don't stay too long. I won't, Uncle Joy. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't I take you with me? Yeah. Would you like that? Good. Boy, the water sure looks warm. Here we go. Now, if the water's warm, I'll let you come in later, okay? I'm sure Mitzi will show up soon. Yeah. Unless maybe she joins up with the wild bears. Wild bears? Yeah, we talked to some farmers. They said there used to be wild bears around those parts. And if she ran into one, she could revert back and become wild again. Well, I tell you what. Tomorrow I'll round up Pete and some of the boys, and we'll give you a hand. Now, don't you worry. We'll find her. Thank you, Sharon. Oh, Carl, I wanted to talk to you. You haven't been letting Mitzi run around loose again, have you? Loose? Why? Well, the sheriff here's got a report that a bear has been raiding the farms around here. I wanted to show him Mitzi and prove to him that it wasn't our bear. Uh, to, to tell you the truth, boss, Mitzi has been lost for the last couple of days. Lost? Why wasn't I told about this? Well, we didn't want to bother you. And we figured that when she gets hungry, she comes home again. She won't get hungry. She's been killing sheep. Oh, no, not my Missy. She would never do that. She is tame and gentle. Maybe so. But I never saw an animal yet that wouldn't kill when it needed food. There couldn't be another bear, Mr. Sheriff? I'm afraid not, son. There haven't been any bears in these parts for years. Well, Sheriff, are you sure it's a bear that's been doing this? Absolutely. A farmer at Oak Ridge saw one and took a shot at it. But he didn't kill her, did he? Evidently not. So I'm taking a posse out tomorrow to hunt it down. Oh, well, now, wait a minute, Sheriff. My Mitzi, she's a valuable animal. He's right, Sheriff. Suppose you give us a chance to find her first. All right. I'll give you 24 hours. And in the meantime, you're responsible for any damage that bear does. That's fair enough. Why won't Mr. Champion let Carl go along? Well, there's, there's likely to be a lot of hard riding, and we're kind of afraid that Carl will hold us up. You ready, Joey? Oh, yeah, boss. You got a plan? Yeah, we'll head over towards Oak Ridge and try to pick up her trail. If that doesn't work, we'll have to borrow one of Hal Martin's hunting dogs. You're not gonna shoot her, are you? We may have to, Corky. Why do you have to? She's tame! She was tame, Corky. 
You never can tell about wild animals. Why, I've seen even the most docile elephants turn killer overnight. That's right, Corky. She may be killing sheep today, but tomorrow there's no telling what she'd get after. But if she's killing sheep, it only means she's hungry. She wouldn't hurt anyone. I know it. When we do find her, Corky, I'll do my best to bring her back safe and sound. Now, that's a promise. Come on, Joyce. They've been gone a long time. I'm afraid they'd never find my Mitzi. You can get another job with the circus? No. Without my Mitzi, I would not be welcome here even for a minute. Is it because of what happened a long time ago between you and Mr. Champion? You know about that, huh? Yeah, Uncle Joey told me the first day you got here. And you are still my friend? I guess I'm like Uncle Joey. When I like someone, it's awful hard to change my mind. Thank you, Cokie. You know, Cokie, there's, there's two sides to every story. Now I think I tell you my side, huh? Sure, if you want to. Yeah, yeah, I want to. You see, Cokie, I didn't take this money for myself. No, it was for my wife. Greta. She was so beautiful. But she was very spoiled. She was going to leave me if I don't take her back to Vienna. Well, I loved her very much. I didn't want to lose her. So I took her back to Vienna. But it was no good. When the money ran out, she ran out. That was too bad. Yeah. But maybe it was better that way. I could never have made her happy anyway. So I came back here to try to make enough money to pay Tim back, but things didn't work out very well. Does Mr. Champion know this? Nine. Well, why haven't you told him? I'm a proud man, Kofi. I didn't want anybody to know that a woman could make such a fool out of me. But you told me? Yeah. Because you are my good friend, Kofi. Sometimes you can tell a boy, but you cannot tell to a man. Did you hear that? It's Bimbo. I guess he misses Missy, too. Yeah, they was getting to be such good friends. Hey, I'll bet Bimbo could find Missy. You think so? Sure, Bimbo has a wonderful sense of smell. He'll find a tiger once. A bear would be easy. Corky, that's a wonderful idea. We try it, huh? Come. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to give up for today. Well, we've been covering a lot of ground. That Mitzi bear has really been gadding about the last couple of days. Yeah, we'll get an early start in the morning and ride up further in the mountains. Hey, boss, there's some fresh bear tracks. Made less than an hour ago. Looks like she's heading back toward the compound. Good. Maybe we can catch her before dark. Come on. Wait a minute, Corky. Let's make sure it's Mitzi first. Mitzi! Mitzi, girl! Mitzi! It is Mitzi. Now, Corky, you stay here. Mitzi! You bad throw lines to run away. From now on, you stay on the leash always. Stay here, Bimbo. Well, I guess Bimbo's entitled to an extra dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Champion pays for the sheep. Everything will be okay, won't it? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> ah, Mitzi, Mitzi. Ah, uh ah. -huh. You see, I knew you didn't do it. Look, Corky, look on the paws. It's full of honey, but no blood. <laughs> that means she had nothing to do with killing the sheep. Yeah, yeah, we got nothing to worry about now. <laughs> we know Mitzi didn't do it. Come on, Mitzi, we go home. <laughs> Hey, it's getting awful late, boss. Think we ought to call this off till tomorrow? What do you think, Pete? Well, she can't be too far away. Those last tracks we saw are only a few minutes old. Hey, look, boss! That's Mitzi. There's your evidence, that dead sheep. Hold it, Pete. We'll try and take her alive. That bear's plumb loco now, and dangerous. 
Maybe so, but I made a promise to try and bring her back alive. Tim, you know Corky wouldn't expect you to take any extra chances to keep that promise. Mitzi's used to a leash. If I can get this rope around her neck, she might quiet down. Boss, that bear's gone plumb wild. Nobody will ever be able to handle her again. Not even Carl. Maybe not, but at least we can turn her over to a zoo. Keep me covered just in case. Right. Take it easy, baby. You know? Uh -huh. <sighs> Corky was right. There was another bear. There sure was. Mitzi, you are a snookin. Look on your coat. Oh, full of cockle bars and honey and thistles and brambles. If you run away again, I spank you good. <laughs> you. Mitzi, you. Did Mitzi get hurt, Carl? Nein, nein, just dirty. You? You are all right? Nothing serious, thanks to you. Oh, it was not me, it was Mitzi. <laughs> you took a chance on losing a very valuable animal, Carl, sending Mitzi after that bear? Well, I never think about that. I was only worried nothing should happen to you. <laughs> and to think I've been holding a grudge all this time. I didn't blame you for that. You was right. Oh, I don't know, Carl. Corky told me the other side of the story. I know you told him he shouldn't, but he thought I ought to know. What do you say we forget old times and start all over again, huh? I would like that very, very much. Good. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Carl. Thank you, sir. Hey, don't you think it's time that Pete made up with Mitzi? Oh, Mitzi's okay in my book. Well, sure, shake hands with her. Oh, all right. Let's just say we'll keep our friendship at a distance, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 